Hi MVP users, this video is going to walk you through the steps of adding in a new lead and all of your quote information. In MVP, you are able to click Add Lead. This Add Lead button does take you to the quote sheet in which you'll fill in all of their information. Although you are able to start right here, I do recommend that you use the search bar on the top right to search the address to make sure that this lead does not exist anywhere across the your agency's MVP account. So we're going to go ahead and type in the house number, street name, and the city and the state. It will search here, it says no records found. I go ahead and double click, right click and copy. Go ahead and click add new lead. And now I'm on the quote sheet. I just went ahead and I searched to make sure that this does not already exist. That way I do not create a duplicate account. I'm going to go ahead and paste the address right here address will pop up. If you need to add in an apartment number, go ahead and click in this box, type in apartment number, go ahead and click in the city box to save that. Now we're going to go ahead and fill in our quote origin contact box. When we're filling in the quote sheet on the MVP, we're going to think about the things that affect underwriting and only fill in that information that we need to know. I also do use the tab button to help me move through the quote sheet a little bit quicker. All right, it's very important that you are receiving permission to text. Be sure to check this box once you have received permission. I recommend filling in the best time to contact box. That way you are sure to contact your prospects when they would like to be contacted. If you have email address, go ahead and fill those in. Once you've filled in the mailing address and the quote origin contact box, you are able to click create lead on the top right. In order to create a lead in MVP, you have to have the name and address. So that's why I just go ahead and fill in this entire box while I'm there. Next, we're going to choose a source. You have six options to choose from. Pick the one that most closely relates of how this lead came into your office. We'll go ahead and choose a referral. Then we're going to choose our tag. Your tag is going to identify the exact marketing campaign that brought this lead into your office. If the tag is not here, go ahead and type in what you would like to use. And then you can go ahead and click enter to create your tag. Now we'll go ahead and we'll move on to adding in our household members. All of this information is optional, it's up to you. Again, if you have this information, if it affects underwriting, go ahead and fill it in. I'm a big fan of filling in the occupation, even if it does not qualify for any discounts, that way I know. Go ahead and fill in that new household relationship and save. If there's any other household members, please make sure you add them in right here as well as they will show on the quote comparison. Make sure um, once you do do your quote and you're quoting website, you transfer over the risk rating or credit class. This is very imp important information to have. You do have enough information at this time to start your quote, and I recommend doing so at this time. Before you can add in your quote data into MVP, we need to make sure we add in the residents and the vehicles. We're going to go ahead and click add, copy the mailing address, so you have to type it in again. And if you would like to, you can fill in any of these boxes if you would like to have this information in MVP. If they own a second home, please go ahead and add in the second address. That way you are able to add in a quote for that home. Go ahead and add in our vehicles. Again, we're going to fill in the information that affects underwriting. So if you have this information, um, any of this extra information, fill it in. However, the year, make, and model is all that is required. There we go, go ahead and get all of our boxes filled in and then we're going to move down and we're able to add in your quote information. I like to start the habit of adding in any tickets or accidents first that way um, I don't skip over it later once it gets lower down to the bottom as you've added in your quote data. So we'll go ahead and add this in. We are only going to add in tickets or accidents that affect underwriting so we're not going to add in any comprehensive claims. Pick the vehicle involved the claimant and then go ahead and put in the claim date and then we can check at fault. 
So now that you've got your claims in, go ahead and start adding in your quote and the competitor quotes information. Out of habit, I always start with a competitor quote. Go ahead and add in the policy number if you have it. Um, we'll add in our renewal date, policy term. If you have their draft date, you can fill it in and then go ahead and add in their full term premium. You are able to also add in their current limits. It does allow you for a true comparison when you are sending them the quote and going over it with them. Make sure you fill in the boxes that they have. If they don't have medical protection or their UMPD, you can leave that blank. Again, these are these are the vehicle individual vehicle coverages. These will pre-fill based on your defaults. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in your quote. Notice that the carrier, the payment plan, as well as all of my limits and deductibles have pre-filled. That is because I have set up my defaults and MVP. So these will pre-fill every single time. Definitely does save some data entry time. To learn how to do that, please visit our setting up your defaults video. I'm gonna go ahead and just fill in the boxes that are left to fill in and change anything that I need to change. The initial installment amount, first installment without fee, is going to be the first initial payment. Please make sure you fill this in for their first payment as the total due today will be the initial installment amount plus the one-time fee. Then we're going to go ahead and fill in their installment amount going forward. If we have the show it annualized premium box checked, it's going to show an annual premium and not just a six month premium. If you would like to, you can uncheck this box as well. You are able to add in additional payment options. Here are our pre-fills or defaults. If you want to go ahead and change them, you are more than welcome to. It's much quicker to change a few than to have to fill them in every single time. This is your endorsement box for any extra endorsements you're adding to this auto policy. All right, there is our auto quote. We're going to now go ahead and add in a home quote. There is a box here for claims. Go ahead and make sure you have the correct property address and our claim date. And there we go. All right, now we can go ahead and add in your quote. Here's the address that is added in the residence box up top. I can make them the owner or the renter. Here's our residence type. Our carrier has pre-filled thanks to our defaults. Let's go ahead and put in our effective date. Here's our payment plan. And then we're going to go down here and fill in the coverages that are that you've gotten from your quote that you did. Go ahead and fill this in. Notice that when I, I filled in the dwelling amount, I'm going to tab, use the tab button to move over. My deductibles have now pre-filled to a 1% because that is what I have my deductible set at. We'll go ahead and just fill in these coverages that you have on your quote, make any changes to your defaults that have already pre-filled for you if you would like to. If you don't want all of these deductibles to show on your quote, go ahead and uncheck the ones that you don't want to show. Be sure to type in any extra endorsements you've added, any uh, um, specific coverages, if you've named any jewelry pieces, things that like that, you can add it in this section. Again, you can also add in competitor quote using this button. Once you've added in your quote information, you are able to click convert to prospect. This prospect will now be found on our awaiting prospects call view page. Once you go over your quote with this prospect, you will mark them as quoted. That is how you create a lead and add a new lead in MVP and how to add in an auto and home quote. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at any time.